Good morning, everybody. Before we begin, we'd like to take a moment to thank our donors who have made this event possible. Thank you so much. If you find value in today's presentation and you haven't yet joined our community, we'd encourage you to do so via cope.ca. Alternatively, we do have a sign-up sheet and we'd be happy to add you to the list. Now then, what is COPE? One, we're here to hold government and media accountable for their actions, reports, and policies. Do you remember all those promises on the campaign trail? If not, don't worry, because we do. Two, to serve as a stakeholder in the community as it relates to local government and policy. Now let's take a moment and break down why becoming a stakeholder is so important. Now the information you just viewed comes from our very own local community survey, as well as the Edelman Trust Barometer, which has been reporting on trust and credibility for over 23 years. Now in summary of those slides, Canadians are losing trust in the government, media, and NGOs. Over 60% of respondents believe government and media are just too biased to properly represent the voices and concerns of the average Canadian. As a result, we've conditioned ourselves to statements such as politics don't matter, it won't change anything anyways, crooked politician, you've all heard them, but we've normalized that as well as legacy media reporting on whatever direction the money comes from. In short, the majority of Canadians have decided their time is best spent on their careers, families, and lifestyles, and they've left a lot of the politics behind. The problem is, all those systems are still actively working in their own best interests, whether you pay attention to them or not. Individual thoughts and concerns from the community are very often lost in the dozens of letters sent from the varied stakeholders throughout our community. For most instances, our local council are bombarded by copy-paste form letters which are written from one member of a group, then sent through newsletters to members and forwarded individually to local governments. As a result, it makes one voice appear as many and strengthens the argument you're trying to make. As example, North Cowichan's Community Satisfaction Survey shows over 83% of residents have concerns surrounding affordable homes, taxes on homes, and homelessness, and 7% place climate change as a top concern. Yet, as we'll hear later, somehow a climate lens is now affecting every single policy that goes through your local government. How did 7% of citizens end up affecting such a massive change to local policies? You guessed it, as stakeholders. COPE intends on fighting fire with fire, with between 70 to 80% of the eligible voter base not even showing up to vote. It's easy to see why these smaller alarmist groups are now serving as the voice for the entire community. The general population has effectively checked out and left all policy decisions to be made by these very invested special interest groups who can rally their followers to force change while everybody else is busy working and raising their families. Now we know it's incredibly difficult to follow local politics and it's not easy to understand which policies will even affect the way you live, run your business, or raise your family. And that's where we come in. We'll do the digging for you, we'll attend the council meetings, we'll write local government, and we'll serve as your voice. Let's level the playing field and ensure the missing three quarters of community gets their voice back. Thank you for supporting the Citizens Oversight and Accountability Project.